Buenos dias. Today we're cooking Mexican food. Mmm, my favorite. I love spicy food. We're going to south of the border to Oaxaca, where our dear friends from Food Network Eat Street have brought us authentic Oaxacan Mexican food. Okay, I have my guajillo, sorry guys, uh, peppers, and then my ancho peppers here. And then I have my tomatoes, my onions, and my garlic in here. And now what we have to do is I've roasted them already. So we're going to put them in boiling water to soften them because then we'll put them in the blender. So we'll put them in. Okay, now why the um, peppers are still boiling and getting soft, we're going to saute your peanuts, which are roasted and unsalted, and then your pecans, which are just raw pecans. We'll get those sauteed. And these, okay, now that we have these browned, you want to add your cinnamon stick, your oregano, your cloves, and your toasted sesame seeds. And let's get all that ground up, ready to go in the blender. Okay, my peppers are done. Oh, look at that. Look at how nice they look. Okay, these are gonna go in the blender with my peanuts. Before oh my we do that, before I wanna blend all my stuff together, I want to get the chicken in. So I want you guys to understand that what, let's do a couple things so we don't have to wait all the time for. So we get it in our boiling water slowly so you don't snap the water and burn yourself. 20 minutes in the boiling water. So while we're waiting for this to boil up, give me a towel bib. Let's start on blending our peppers and all everything together. Okay, let's get these babies in there. Very nice. So I've got a little bit, just a little bit of water just to get it so it will blend. This is what the chili water. And then we'll put so the blend this up first. Now that we have it totally blended, oh, look at that, look at that. We're gonna put it in a Dutch oven with some oil. Then we'll fry this for about five minutes. Why I'm letting this fry, I'm gonna start blending up the peanuts and my tomatoes and my onions and my garlic. Now that I've mixed the, all the nuts, the roasted nuts, the tomatoes, the onions, and the, the garlic, we're gonna take it, and this is my makeshift sieve. So if you have a real one, more power to you, but this is my makeshift one. We're gonna put it in here. I'm gonna squash it down so that it makes the juice. This juice is now gonna go into my Dutch oven with all my chilies. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fold this in with my chili pepper. Okay, we're stirring it until it reduces down. And that should take, oh, about two to three minutes. Okay, now I think I'm ready to add my one and a half cups chicken broth. Get this back to a slow boil so that we can add the chocolate to it. Okay, I guess we're ready now to add about 10 ounces of chocolate. And then once this is melted down, you can add about a half a teaspoon of regular sugar to it. 
Okay, now that our mole is done with the chocolate is purely melted into it, we're going to take pieces of our chicken, add it to the mole, let it sit in there for a couple of minutes. Then you want to transfer it onto your platter. There you go. Keep and voila, it. mole. I want to thank Ileana de la Vega with her food truck, El Naranja trailer truck, and taste it, see how it is. Give her a shot. Mm. Well, that is good. Very good. Like that, babe, huh? You can let go of the dish now. <laughs>